Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's uh, Chicago Trader checking in for the weekly fundamental video here on the uh, 13th of September. Hope you guys are having a good Friday. Um, had a few names as usual, one to run over. And then uh, the main one I'm going to cover is uh, Take Two, TTOO is the ticker um, at the end. So a little bit more of a deep dive. Um, just kind of want to share my thoughts on it. Um, before I get started, as usual, guys, you know the deal. Uh, this isn't investment advice on uh, my behalf or MIC's behalf. Um, so be sure to do your own due diligence. Uh, I'll cover take two last. Uh, first one I want to cover was cool. It moved on some news this week. Um, let me pull up these eight Ks. Uh, first thing, so I noticed they're a little bit low on cash. Um, however, they do have a spa. Um, so what that is, securities purchase agreement. They essentially have the right. You know, they agree to an amount that um, you know somebody can purchase from them, and they will put it into their account. So it's a million dollars convertible note. Uh, you can see the conversion price. Uh, it's a dollar eighty, or it's going to be ninety percent uh, after six months. Uh, also, if you guys remember the video I did on uh, REKR, I think that they had debt at twenty four percent as well. So I now uh, have seen two that have uh, you know basically loaned out convertible debt that have done twenty four percent. Obviously, less than favorable terms. And then there was another 8K shortly after that, um, I believe this is the same one, um, that they're gonna extend the maturity date. And why wouldn't you, if you hold that debt, you know, you're obviously getting paid uh, fat, fat stacks on it if you're going to. Not favorable for the company, but again, uh, just something that kind of tells you the, uh, you know, the health of the company. But this one did a reverse split, had been moving a little bit. It had about one and a half million shares outstanding after the split, so. Um, you know, if you come down here to the offering, it gives you the uh, details. So there's actually uh, 426,000 shares of common at $6.30. And, you know, usually, like I've mentioned in the last uh, few videos, these prefunded warrants um, usually are a dagger. And then you come down here, and th this one's actually pretty transparent for once. So there's going to be, uh, you know, the common shares. Um, outstanding. So again, that's just the 1.5 that's outstanding plus the 426,000. So they're actually nice and do the calculation. So there's going to be 4.7 million if the pre-funded warrants are exercised and 5.2 if the underwriters, uh, you know, exercise the over allotment. And so you go from 1.5 to potentially 5.2 million shares. It's just absolutely terrible. But um, so the last one, uh, the main one that I caught, definitely thought it was going to, you know, the news was weak. Uh, you know, had a nice run up before. So Personally, I played this day one. I was completely wrong on it. Um, thank God I did get out of it when I did. Uh, so take two came out. They had some news on an agreement. Let me pull these up here real quick. Um, basically with this uh, BARDA. And, you know, like I said, it read well. Um, up to $69 million in funding. Uh, usually on those, you know, things like that, when it says up to, um, you kind of want to be, you know, at least I am. Um, kind of weary about what that means. It's not a guaranteed. Um, also, you, the second paragraph below here, you can see there's a cost sharing uh, contract between them. So obviously, even if there is a little bit of money up front, so it looks like there's going to be <clears throat> uh, $6 million up front, you know, until there's further details on the deal, um, you know, that might just basically offset the $6 million that they're receiving. Um so then, the, I believe it was the same day. Yeah, same day. They came out. There was um, an amendment. Basically, what was happening was they have some debt, uh, you know, this uh, term loan agreement, and they're reducing 
the revenue target that has to be met, um, slashing it, you know, over 50% from 9 million to 4 million. Um, so kind of, you know, gives a negative outlook for, you know, the company. Uh, also, you know, why would a lender do that? Well, then they get uh, 568,000 uh, shares, uh, warrants rather, at $1.55. So, you know, you take that. I, I kind of thought that news was weak. Um, you come back here, they, you know, very recently within the last couple, uh, last month and a half, enter into a uh, at the money uh, offering of up to $30 million. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.